Ania Cheeks. I'm the art critic from Poland. This will be the future stars of the art world. I'm enticed, I love it. <laughs> and let's um, just simply go for it. You are? How old? You are. Canadian? Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you over here? Uh, well, I came to study at the RCA. What happened? Um, I think I went from working just with photographs into working a lot with objects and then learning how to translate objects into a two-dimensional form again. So I kind of went from photography into sculpture and then back into photography and learning how to like reincorporate that. Pissing and pouring. Yes, two functions, both essential. Pissing and pouring. <laughs> Why your piss? Um, I think it's just an artifact of, it's a, a, a remnant of who you are. So it's kind of like the wood grain is, is the grain that um, is inside all of us. The piece is called You're Ingrained, so it's kind of about like whatever comes out of you is still a part of you and contains all the pieces that make up you, so. Is it tested? Is it tested? <laughs> it looks like if you send it off to a laboratory and it got tacked. Yeah, I, well I did have a few bladder infections around the time, so I just, you know, took one extra bottle home. Oh really? <laughs> so is there a scanning thing on a barcode on that? <laughs> There probably is. I never handed it in to anyone. Oh, really? <laughs> you should. I mean, it would be highly interesting. <laughs> because as you say, it's such a fundamental piece of uh, oneself yeah. or yourself. I think you should really scrutinize <laughs> it even more. <laughs> what do you think about that? Well, I um, actually threw it in the trash bin at the RCA once I photographed it. So. Oh, re but that's fine. <laughs> but you have more. You can always do it. One <laughs> isn't it? Your work at the moment reminds me a little bit of a dollhouse. Uh, yeah, well, they're miniature pieces um, that are blown up in scale and shot with a large format camera. So the idea is that you can kind of... You can get a, a, a raclette in miniature? You can get a raclette in miniature. Where? In <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of about like um, the way that we idealize all these like parts and rituals and ways of eating and consuming. So the miniatures are kind of like a parody of ourselves and then making them big again um, kind of lets us interact with them as if they were actual real sized objects. So did you bake a miniature cake? I didn't, no. Well, what is that then? <laughs> <laughs> um, they're tiny plastic collectibles that um, are all bought from Japan on eBay and they come in a bunch of different pieces and then they're all shot against black velvet so like well, but there is some kinkiness in it. Maybe a little bit, yeah. A little bit, <laughs> because in a way you glorify the object. Yeah, yeah, it's all kind of about that like moment, the anticipatory moment of pouring before you get to enjoy something or, you know. Foreplay? Exactly. <laughs> foreplay. <laughs> Edible foreplay. <laughs> Edible foreplay, I think it cannot get any better than that. <laughs> Thank you, Xena Cheeks. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't she wonderful? <laughs>